basically anything you can put in a dubbing loop you can use for this tool. If you're tying a fly with a peacock body, cut the tips off of the peacock because they're always going to break anyway. Tie the peacock on on the underside of the hook. And the reason for that is, is you want the, the loop and the thread all coming off in the same place. So I've tied my peacock on the underside and you want to make a loop that's shorter than your peacock. So you just go back and measure it to the length of your peacock. Make a loop about five turns. Slide the hook up. Now we're going to bring the peacock down. I'm going to hold the loop open with my middle finger or my index finger, either one. And I'm going to catch the peacock between my thumb and my index finger. Now as I'm looking at it, there's the loop and the peacock is laying over the top of the loop from my point of view. I'm going to take the hook, I'm going to go for right-handed tires, I'm going to put the hook under the loop of thread on my right, I'm going to go over the top of the peacock, and I'm going to catch the left side of the loop in the dubbing hook, and then come back over the top of everything, slide that down and it'll catch the peacock in that loop against the hook. And you're going to see that you're going to get a tension difference there. So you just want to rotate your spool down a little bit to get the tension pretty close to even on all three pieces of thread and the peacock. Now, if you have excess peacock hanging beyond the hook, it helps if you cut that down to about an inch. Sometimes that'll spin around and get caught up in things. And just take the tool and spin it. It'll spin tighter at the top first. So give it a spin till that gets started and just start winding your peacock. Pull it back down, spin it a little more. Till you get to the front of the fly. Now you're going to have excess material on peacock. Turn your bobbin perpendicular to the hook and I'll trap the peacock against the hook with my finger here and hold it and get the hook out of the way. Now if I let go, it doesn't come unraveled because a third piece of thread has tied it down as we go. So if you, if you want, you can unravel the peacock right to that point and just tie it off. That's how you do a peacock reinforced body with the uh, Mitch's bobbin whirler. Now if you end up with extra material, for example, if we do the peacock again, tie it in underneath the hook, make a dubbing loop that's shorter than the peacock, about five wraps to hold the loop down, pull the peacock, again the loop is underneath the peacock from my point of view. I'm holding the peacock between my thumb and index finger. Pull the tool down and I go under the right hand piece of thread of the loop over the top of the peacock and I'm going to catch the left hand loop of thread and pull everything back and then pull the bobbin down until it traps the peacock against the hook. Rotate your bobbin to even the tension and just give it a spin. It'll spin tighter at the top. Now I'm going to start wrapping. So if you came up short and had to do two pieces of peacock, you could do it this way. Now I have more peacock than I need. So I'm going to hold the peacock here and unhook it. <clears throat> now remember, my main thread is wrapped up in here. So if I just cut this material off, my, threads, my spool is going to drop to the top of the table. So if you end up with extra material like this and you're not sure what to do, if you don't want to unwind it all the way down, just pinch the material and the thread tight between your thumb and index finger. Just pull out some thread and wrap just ahead of it, just as if you were starting the fly over again to trap the, trap the thread up against the hook. Switch hands, tie it down like you normally would, then you can snip that off. Now your bobbin is still attached to the fly. You can tie that off. Now you've got a nice peacock body that's reinforced with thread. It's very durable. 
If you really wanted a wire rib, you could tie the wire in previously and counter wrap the rib now so that it would show on the fly. But thread reinforced peacock is very durable. Again, if this was a steel head fly, you'd tie in your wing and your collar, make your whip finish, you get to that fifth turn of thread, slide the hook up, catch it, tilt the bobbin to the side. You can either do the spool twist or you can just grab this piece of thread, pull the hook right up to the tool, push up, and finish the fly. Now you'll end up with extra thread and you'll have to wind that back into the bobbin. So that's why some people choose the spool twist or you can do the sideways thread pull, either way.